We are on the air right now. I didn't think you liked educational programs, and yet here you are. Hey, good looking. Where have you been all my life? It's okay. We're friendly. Do you want to be friends? Now, before we do this, let's go over the ground rules. Rule number one. No touching of the hair or face. Of course. And that's it. Now let's do this. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Well, Bruce Willis is on board for another Die Hard movie, but not before the script gets a rewrite. The film is rumored to be an original story of sorts in which we see a younger actor portray John McClane as a regular cop in 1970s New York City. Bruce's grizzled present-day John McClane is expected to bookend the movie, which will toggle back and forth between past and present. Last night on The Late Show with James Corden, Oprah revealed why she stopped buying gifts Gifts for her boyfriend Stedman. Now, Oprah, you and you and uh, you and your bae, Stedman, you've been together now for yeah. 32 years. Is it that long? 32 <laughs> years. You and Stedman have been together. And it was uh, it was his birthday last week. Yes. Is he an easy person to shop for? Uh, I stopped doing that. <laughs> I stopped. Wait till he hears about Catherine's bookcase. <laughs> it's gonna be good. <laughs> Years ago, you know, when we first started being together, I, 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 for one of the Christmases, I went out and I was trying to get gold, frankincense, and myrrh in one form or another, which I was able to do. And then he opened it and went, what's this? And I said, <laughs> it's gold, frankincense, and myrrh, yeah. you know? Like the three, three wise, wise men. men, and I've gone through the that, and the gold cufflinks with the then, the then, and then the frankincense and myrrh. And he didn't really appreciate it to the level wow. that I expected, because I did it myself. Yeah. So I decided from now on, I'll just make you some cornbread. <laughs> it's time for Things I've Learned from Seinfeld. I looked inside, and I found my Katra. Katra. Yeah, your spirit, your uh, being, that part of you that says, yes, I can. Sammy Davis had it. <laughs> That's it for Things I've Learned from Seinfeld. President Trump will visit California this week to view eight border wall prototypes. Eight? How hard is a wall? Trump once again said he would like to kill all drug dealers. Some White House aides are suggesting a tariff on them instead. Meanwhile, porn star Stormy Daniels wants to return the $130,000 Trump paid her so she can speak freely. Trump is really thrown by this as he's not used to seeing returns on his investments. People are still talking about Education Secretary Betsy DeVos's horrible answers to interview questions on 60 Minutes. We heard more honest answers during OJ's confession. The Iowa Senate leader resigned after video surfaced of the married lawmaker making out in a bar with a lobby which pretty much sums up the typical relationship between politicians and special interest groups. Arnold Schwarzenegger says that he's going to sue the big oil companies for deliberately killing people. Not sure if he's referring to their promotion of fossil fuels or their nasty gas station restrooms. New study names Fremont, California as the happiest city in America. Apparently, they don't have Twitter there. A 70-year-old Utah woman who's in jail for trying to hire someone to kill her ex-husband was charged with trying to hire a new guy to kill the first person she tried to hire. Apparently, killers aren't as easy to find as they are on TV. Somebody can make a fortune by creating an Angie's list for hitmen. Time for Nobody Gives a F***. Reports say next year, Buick will get rid of its middle age image by removing the Buick name from all of its vehicles. It'll be replaced by the name Avenir and Wakanda. Hey, Buick, nobody gives a f***. A judge has ruled the lady who won that $560 million lottery can remain anonymous. That's just great. Now, how do I know who to propose to? Hey, lotteries, nobody gives a f***. And sniveling pharma bro Martin Shkreli was sentenced to seven years in prison, where the price for not getting shanked just shot up from 13 to 750 cigarettes. Hey, bro, nobody gives a f***. 
Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Make sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo and NHL legend Phil Esposito. Live Tuesdays and Thursdays on NSS.